We're starting to get worried now. Especially me. <laughs> As conkers are falling to bits. So I've strung three of them up. The three that I've, you know, yeah. done. Okay. These aren't the ones that have been done. And already, look, they're just... They're just oh, falling to man. bits. So that one's no good then, is it not? Well, it might be. It depends how hard the middle is, Mazitz. The shell might just break off and just leave the white middle. That's happened with a lot of conkers in the past. As long as they are, that's rock hard, and it should be. So what's, uh, what, uh, what makes you a winner? You've actually got to smash the whole entire conker off the string. Basically, you're just going to have to come up with a way of, of disqualifying him if he wins. If I win, just say, yay, Dan, you well, win. Well, apparently he's, you know, he's now got this good stuff that we saw in his garage yesterday. I, I don't know what to say. So, you, yeah, you're not going to win. I am going to win. I will win. There's only one way you'll win. I've, I've just thought of it. Go on. Let's go to the garage and use his stuff. That magic stuff, the conquer stuff. No. 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 Because we don't know if that's it. No, we can't do that. Well, I have to say, that is as ready as we're going to be. Don't you gonna you're gonna give him an advantage by weakening my skins? <laughs> Beautiful pair of conkers. They feel nice. Conker straps, conker strings. No chance, though. Every chance in the world, Mazza. Every chance in the world. Right, so we need to empty our waste tank. And this is actually going to be the first time we've used this hose properly, isn't it? Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see if it's going to reach all the way on from there, all the way under the fan. Let me just take you round to down in this hole. It's a long way for that water to go. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. Go on in. You done it? I've done it. Great. Right, let's get over here. Let's see. I can actually hear it, yeah. I'm surprised. Whether it really empties it all or not, there is another thing in it. <laughs> well, we'll just leave it and see if it says zero on us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong, the pipe's gonna be full probably when it's empty, but. Yeah, yeah. We can deal with that. Um, there's coolant last night, by the way. Didn't have any on the cardboard no when we came out so don't know haven't found a leak yet we're considering going to a garage just to ask if they can do a, what is it in air pressure, pressure test like a pressure test yeah so we'll see about a bit of that. info i see what he says <sighs> quick honey <laughs> pipes come off <laughs> that's neil that it's still coming out it kind of back backed up on itself I think didn't it because this isn't uh, small enough it's really hard to get on the pipe by the way that water just burst out like that though I think that might have backed up on itself don't I oh man Ew. Oh, it's really hard with my arm my arm were okay be able to give it more of a push Give it another go, let's see. So we're just about to do a review of a petrol generator. That will either be a video we put up earlier or it'll be the next video, so make sure you check that one out. We'll be back, don't worry, I'll only be on this for an hour or so and then I'll be back to talk to you with lovely Mazzy. Yay! So Dan wasn't going to go to... Oh, here he comes back. Dan decided he wasn't going to go to the garage this morning with Neil. But you're going, aren't you, my lovely? Being dragged there. By the headmaster. Apparently Neil's been called the headmaster. <laughs> so, um, in the meantime, love you lots. Yeah, so he's just going to go speak to the guy about this head gasket, just in case it is, and a pressure test, blah, blah, blah. In the meantime, we, we're we not getting no filming done. So I said to Dan, 
I might give this a go. <laughs> I might do. I don't even think I'll be able to lift it out of the box, which it is um, like a big diesel petrol generator. How, how hard can a review on a generator be? <laughs> Surely I can do this. little update I'm about to throw this camera out this door I'll tell you why in a minute right <laughs> right let me just show you what's going on see all the generator stuff out there yes it's because I did a load of clips I filmed a lot of it I filled it up with diesel I was just or petrol should I say I was just about to uh, you know start it up and everything and I thought let me just get the clips off and see you know see how I'm going with it got to the laptop all our clips since this morning practically since this morning there's only been one or two um no sound literally no sound even when we got up this morning dan filmed a load um there was a lot more conquer stuff added uh, you know that we've done this morning anyway we have lost all sound this morning i am so fed up with this camera doing this <laughs> So this is the footage we've lost. This is since this morning, all this footage. When there's no bars going up and down there, it means there's no sound. Um, I don't really, they're all the clips that we've done. No sound, no sound. I And then these ones then have a few sounds. So we've managed, I've managed to rescue a few of them. Um, this is then me doing the generator review. I actually got a lot done, look. All that, no sound, no sound, no sound, no sound no sound <sighs> now this camera gopro does this to us a lot so we have an external mic plugged into this but if the external mic let's say isn't plugged in right then the internal one should kick in shouldn't it so i don't understand it but <laughs> no my luck anyway this clip ain't even got sound so i'll give up now i'm just waiting for dan now to come home i'm not filming no more not sure if you're gonna see, got two jets flying over there. Just as the man himself pulls up. Yay! I don't think he knows about the sound on all our footage this morning because I text him and he ain't read the text message yet. He's gonna be well annoyed. Hello! Hello. How'd it go? Did you get my text message? Yeah. Uh uh, no, I was just waiting for a call from him. Didn't get to see anyone there. Oh, you didn't? Uh, didn't get to talk at all. I can tell you now. Thank you, Neil. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. We've given him Neil's number to ring Neil. Yeah. I can tell you now, it won't fit in there. What, at the garage? It's not high enough. Ah. Uh, and it's like one of them garages where it's full outside. You never uh, get this park there. But so we might be able to give advice. What are you thinking then? I'm thinking I'm going to go in there and have a wee because I'm desperate. Right, so now I'm back and we've both had a cry because yeah. we lost all this footage. Never mind. Let's just continue. Yeah. All right, let's start with something easy just to get yeah. us back into the filming yeah. with sound, hopefully. Is that in? <laughs> it better be. Better be. It happens quite often though, don't it? Something easy. Yeah. Super thanks. Oh! Super, super thanks. Let's thank some super duper people, Mazzy. Yay. Some of the best super duper people in the world. Let's put a smile on our faces. Neil Adams. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> Rachel and Gary Sandford. Thank you, Rachel and Gary. Busy 1956. Thank you, busy. Why are you so slow? You're like really. I'm just taking my time, as I've lost a load of footage trying to drag <laughs> this out. Uh, Peter Webster. <gasps> Thank you, Peter. And caravanning in Cara the van. Caravanning in the Cara the van. Thank you very much, people. Did I do it right? Then? No. Did I? No. No, you need to explain. I this. can't explain. It's very simple. Caravanning in the care of a van. Right, thank you thank very you. much. We love you all to bits. Thank you for supporting us. I will get it right one day, won't I? 
Trail cam down. What did you see? A badger, a beaver, a fox or a bee? What did you see? It's trail cam down time! <laughs> oh yes! So it was a good night last night. Uh, me and Neil put them, went for a long walk to put them. Do you remember where I caught the badger originally where it was sniffing yeah. the camera? Yeah. I thought we'd go back there. Um, mm. We put our cameras quite close to each other and you can actually see his camera in my view. Yeah. Coming on now and again. It all started with the bum of a fox. Here he is, the bum of the fox. He goes up there and then he walks across the top and up towards Neil's camera, which flashes and then comes on. And he got the bum as well. And then a rabbit, your general rabbit. You can see Neil's light in the top corner there. And then a little mouse. I just put that on because it looked cute. And then another rabbit, which went up to Neil's camera, which was on. And then the badger. Look at the badger footage, it is incredible. Neil also got good footage of him as well. Just beautiful. I didn't slow this down. I left it all on. I think there's about 20 seconds. Just beautiful. The quality on this dash cam is in dash cam, trail, trail cam, cam is yeah. absolutely incredible. And there he goes, big fatty. And then I think we'll just get him coming back there. And then he goes off shot and that's the end of him. Anything else? Oh, and then the cat chasing the mice. <laughs> that's so cute. Black cat. Oh. A beautiful black cat. That must live on the on the farm nearby. And yeah, he's just chasing after them. And I think Neil got the cat here as well. You'll see his camera go off, look. Beautiful, and I think that is it. Well, a, a nice selection there. We got, what did we get? We got a fox, a badger, a rabbit, a mouse, and a cat. Five different animals in one night. Very happy with that, as first ever cat, Mazzy. What did you think? Oh, so cute, yeah. Yeah, it's always nice to see something different on the um, footage in the morning, yeah. isn't it? Do you want to just quickly run by, quickly, what trail cam this is? I know you've done it before in the past. Oh, but you're going to have to hold that for me, because someone did ask me the other day. Yeah, I was going to say, some people are going to be interested. It is a cracker. Um, I think it's from America. I don't even know if you can get them in England. Mm -hmm. They sent this over from America. Uh, but it didn't take long. It was only about a week no. delivery. It's not the same as Neil's, is it? Oh, but no. it's just as good, isn't it? So is it? Is it better? I think the quality of my picture is better I've than Neil's. I've not seen Neil's, I don't think. Um, it is by a company called... What did I say? It doesn't even say on it. Um, Cam Park. C-A-M-P-A-R-K. I think the name of the company. And it says on the back, model TC06. Hunting trail camera. If you want one get that you know you can get them for like 30 quid 30 yeah. to 50 quid yeah this one was about 105 quid mm. um i wanted one with good sound because apparently the sound on this is fantastic but the unfortunate thing is i've noticed badgers and foxes and things they don't talk and they don't sing or anything so <laughs> the sound is pretty useless really because <laughs> unless it's going to be there going ah then I haven't really got much sound. Yeah, very good though. Brilliant camera. You, I think actually you're planning to maybe get a second one of those, aren't you? I'd like to get, yeah, definitely a second. It's just a hobby, isn't it? It's a nice hobby. I, I, I even want, I really do want to start up a, my own YouTube channel just, just yeah. for wildlife. What do you guys think about that? And what would you call it? <laughs> Trail cam down. Yeah, it's going to be cool trail da <laughs> cam down now, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a lot more work, though, isn't it? But yeah, we don't we don't have time. time. Yeah. Maybe one day. Um, so yeah, that is the trail cam footage from today. We will put it out again tonight somewhere. Um, come back for that. Oh, my head would just go in then, Mazzy. I was thinking of a different spot, but I don't think you'll be up for it. Me? Mm. That means it's a long walk, doesn't it? There's some woods right up there we could walk. Yeah, through. good luck with that. Good luck with that. So we've experienced really quite cold weather lately, haven't we? And today's got to be one of the coldest. We've, even last night, you... 
It's probably one of the coldest nights and mornings. It was the coldest night. I got up at three o'clock in the morning. It was cold. Yeah. Well, I was up at five or half five or whatever. <clears throat> but you were saying to me that the diesel heat has been doing really well with diesel. It must be a week. Well, it was just before we came here, so it's been over a week. Yeah. Since we filled it up with diesel, we've had it on every morning. Yeah. During the day, sometimes as well. Just for a little bit. Yeah. We've just turned it off now. And it is still at least two thirds full, which is incredible. It costs £10 to fill it up. Yeah. I you just can't go wrong with it, can you? I keep going out and checking the diesel. Cause the one thing with the diesel heater, apparently, you never want it to run dry. Otherwise, you're going to struggle to get it to start again. Yeah. Um, so I'm always... When <laughs> when we have it on in the morning, I'm always going around to check the diesel level, worried that it's going to be near the bottom. It's, it's always up near the top. Yeah. Really impressed with it. Well, it's coming up to winter now, and it's a cheap way of running it, isn't it? And it is fantastic. Don't be dubious about these diesel heaters. No, no. They're fantastic. Some people say they're too noisy. They're really not They're noisy. not noisy. Some people say they're smelly. I mean, no. it depends what you're t what willing to put up with to stay warm. And I'm not saying we put up with that to stay warm, because it really isn't that smell. noisy. We don't notice the smell. No. And we don't notice the noise. No, it's and a matter of fact, it's actually probably louder on the outside of the van than it is in the inside. No, not really. When you're outside there, you can probably hear it more on the outside than when you are inside. Not really. Though. No. No. It's mm. reasonably quiet. Highly recommend. Get yourself one for the winter, everybody. It's just fitting them. You know, yeah. you need someone who knows what they're doing, really. It's not something I'd like to tackle myself, watching Neil when he put hours in. Yeah. I wouldn't like to try and tackle that. Still but. forever grateful, aren't we? Mm. But, um, yeah, definitely highly recommend for the winter coming. Winter is here. Get a diesel heater. Dan's gone quickly to go and pick up a parcel. Pick, 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 pick up a parcel. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly run through what we might be having for tea tonight. So... I got this meal deal thing from Tesco. So it was actually six quid, which I didn't think was bad. But if it's any good or not, I don't know. This obviously came in a box, but I have to take it out of there to fit into my fridge. So I'm mainly looking forward to this because Domino's used to do one of these and it was so delicious. So I'm guessing that's got to go into the, uh, the oven. You get, um, yeah, so this is your side. You can pick a dessert or like potato wedges or something as your side. You get to pick three dips, three different dips you can choose, but I chose the garlic and herb. And I forget what this is. Might be like a spicy meat or something. But it looks all right. It's not bad for six quid because, you know, we can obviously share that. Dan tonight has got a choice of one of these. He's gone for the ham hock leek and potato gratin. This is always so nice, this one. And this, apparently this is new. Um, creamy mushroom sauce. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open it. Let's have a look. I don't know if this is a microwave job or an oven job. Oh, there we go. Oh, it don't look so good, actually. <laughs> That don't look so good, but I'm sure it do once it's cooked. I'm sure it's going to look as lovely as that. So Dan's got the choice of one of them to eat tonight as well. And then obviously he'll be helping me with... I don't know if I'll even end up cooking that, but um, he'll definitely help me with the pizza. Because I don't know, I just haven't had much of an appetite lately. What did I have for dinner yesterday? Just literally two slices of fat bread. I call it fat bread. <laughs> Tiger loaf. Um... Bread and butter. What did Dan have? I can't remember what. Oh, Dan had his curry. He had a microwave curry. Like, I don't know what it was. Some sort of Rogan Josh or something. And that was that. Oh, dear. I've been just trying to see how to cook this. And it says to cook from frozen. And I've forgotten, actually. Dan actually did buy this frozen. Um, well, it's been in the fridge. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. So how do you cook it? Microwave or oven? I think that'll be better in the oven. Before I put it away though, I really just need to see what this looks like because I used to love Domino's, one of these. Okay, it's not quite the same, but I'm sure it's gonna be just as nice. 
you could eat that on its own, couldn't you? But no, I think I'd rather it in the oven. Um, heating instructions, microwave, oh, no. No, I think I'll stick it in the oven. It doesn't say oven, but I'll just stick it in the oven for a few minutes. Actually, that'll go in the air fryer. Make that right, gooey. You're like a kid in a sweet shop. <laughs> hey, come that, to my sweet shop. That looks posh. Now, this company asked us to review a camera. I know we've done a lot of cameras. I thought, do we need another camera? We're debating though, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're debating whether we need another one, aren't we? I think we do. I just don't know if this is the right one for us. Yeah. But the camera itself looks it's amazing. incredible. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, it's fully wireless, like the last one we put up. So yep. we're not going to need any leads. Oh, that's good. Which means I might be able to do it. Mm. It's from Halo View. It comes with a picture of a caravan on the front, which yeah. is always a good sign. Because initially I thought this was probably going to be for a, more for a house, didn't I? So... Oh no, this is properly for a vehicle. Let's have a look at it. It has vehicle, pedestrian, auto recognition, visual and audible alarm, wireless transmission, the S7. Here is the back of it. So that's your camera, but it's got a screen, you see. Do we really want another screen? See, exactly. If that can connect to our screen, it'll be perfect. Mm. But I'm not understanding why we need that. Well, we'll go along. I with just it. feel like it's going to be in the way. It's going to look it's, horrendous. It's going to stand out. It's DVR, so it will record. It's waterproof. It's got a magnetic camera, full colour night vision, battery operated, true wireless, HD, AL intelligent system. So let's go back to that being magnetic. We've struggled with things sticking to the van before, haven't we? Well, yeah, because our van is made out of cardboard, <laughs> pretty much. There's nothing magnetic on a motorhome. It's yeah, like... so we'd have to think of a different way of sticking that, if yeah, not. Yeah, don't really know. But I am very impressed with the packaging. It actually looks like an expensive piece of kit does this. Yeah. I think I saw it on a website, $399. Wow, so means, it's going to be a good one then. So I'm expecting it to be a really good one. Yeah, let's have a quick glimpse, but then that's it, yeah? yeah that's Till all the we're going to be getting. Yeah. I'm getting here. Oh, okay, it's smaller than I imagined. Yeah, that's smaller, isn't it? Well, this is smaller. I'm glad that's smaller. That's just like the one we've got. You know what? This is that will connect up to our screen, I reckon. If it doesn't, even having two screens there might be an option. Mm. We'll see. But oh, it is bigger than I thought. <laughs> we'll definitely be able to review it. Oh my gosh, actually, it's quite big. Yeah. All magnetic on the back, though, Mazzy. Yeah. Magnetic bottom. I wonder. But it won't stick to the van. I won't, I don't think it will, but if that would go all the way down there, we could, I don't know. Let's just go and see, see if it what? will stick, stick anywhere on the map. It won't stick anywhere. No, I think we've give it a go sort of tested this before. But, on that note, our, both our cameras we have are fantastic, aren't they? Yeah, very happy with There's them. There's nothing wrong with our two cameras, no, see this is the trouble we've had. Um. It, it sticks on the front, yeah, but as for all the white body, it, it just doesn't stick, does it? I'll tell it? you what, though. Is that strong? That's strong. That, <laughs> that wouldn't come off. Oh, yeah. Just go and stick it right on the back end. It won't. It's not metal. No. no it's not metal. Which is such a shame because that would be ideal up there, but there might be another way to stick it down. Yeah, I'm sure you could stick it somehow, but... But I'm impressed. Let's see it how looks, good it is first. Looks like a good quality camera. It do. Review coming soon. Might be rubbish. On, but <laughs> on the best shopping channel in the world. <laughs> Travel Trolls TV shopping channel. T T T T T T T shopping channel. Let's just end this clip here. Yeah. We're yeah. Starting to sound stupid. Right, we're deep in the woods. 
certainly are. <laughs> the things we do for views. It's taken us longer to get here than I actually initially imagined. <laughs> now, this is the smallest wood in the world. Um, and it's about a mile away from the campsite. It looks like it's about 300 meters from the campsite, but it isn't. It's not, it just goes on and on and yeah. on and on. <clears throat> Right, so we, so we are going for a completely different place to put us trail cams tonight. I've let Neil have the day off. Um, we've taken his trail camera and we're going to find a spot for yeah. him. <laughs> so what we need to do, Mazzy? Find a good spot. We need to scout around, look for holes, we need look for activity. Two different spots though. Oh, no, well, no yeah. Pointing on one place with two cameras. But you can have one facing one way and one the other. Yeah. There's that option. So what are we looking for activity? Look for holes and poo. Holes, poo and dead things. Okay, we're walking through this wood now. Not looking good. I'm trying to teach Mazzy what to look for when you're laying trail cams. I know what to look for. What do you look for? Burrows. You're what? For holes, burrow, oh. burrows, whatever the word is. You're looking for food sources looking for maybe a water source i do keep hearing something over there but i think this is a dead end just repeated everything i told us to look out for it's a bit obvious <laughs> it's a bit obvious babe we're looking for you know like any kind of animals try to dig anywhere like fresh bits like you know there's absolutely no sign of any animals there is red berries on this one particular tree, but I think animals stay away from red berries. We're going to keep going. It's a very, very small wood, you see. There isn't much to go through. But I can't believe for this wood, for its location, for the safety of an animal, I would have thought this is perfect for an animal to live in. Check out the mushrooms. Beautiful. Looks like something's happened there, not much. Oh, I'm just not seeing it. I can see a possible entrance for animals to come through there, and I can see a feather on the floor there. Possible ground has been touched there, but it's really not a lot to go on. The question is, do I really want to walk back for 25 minutes in the morning to collect the dash cams when I don't think we're going to find anything? <coughs> no, that's not a proper lived in hole. I've lost Mazzy. <laughs> yeah, there is, there's a few feathers on the floor. Let's not give up. Let's just do the entire wood first before we make a decision on whether we're going to carry on or not. That's the first piece of uh, disturbed ground I've seen. And it's really not a lot. Come down here. Have you found something? Something, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's go over there. You yes. found a nice chair. There's droppings here. They actually look fresh. They actually look quite moist. What sort of droppings are those? Right, that's interesting. Is it deer or fox? What is it? That is either deer or fox. Yeah, that's what I thought. They look moist, don't they? I think that's deer. So these ones are fresh, but I did see an old bit there as well. So seeing the old one and seeing the new one makes me think... They've marked their territory. This is where they're coming. Something's coming through here. That is definitely. There's quite a lot of it. Look, look how fresh this is. Look. Yeah, this is in the last 24 hours. That's not fox because it's droppings. Yeah, well, when you see then this big one. It's like lots of droppings that's together. That's not rabbit. And it's not rabbit because you no. wouldn't get them in a big pile. Unless it's a rabbit with constipation, maybe. <laughs> You'd have to have a big <laughs> problem. Big bum, let's just pull it down. 
But there's no burrows, there's no animal holes. No. There's something splitting through here. What yeah. Do? We'll keep looking. You're not gonna leave your camera because of that. We'll keep looking. Keep looking. Well, I'm not sure, but I'm now wondering if it's a Bigfoot or a bear. Look at the way all these trees are scuffed up, look. Could be a deer, actually. A deer, and if that's deer poo, look at the way all these trees are scuffed up like that. Are you thinking this might be a deer? They do that, though, don't they? Are you not thinking it's the farmer who came through here with his machine the other day to clear off the hedge? What, and it's all filled up like this? Yes. He's been cutting these, look. He's been cutting the edge back to keep the leaves so back. It's not Bigfoot then. It might be, <laughs> but I'm doubting it. I don't know. Did you find anything? Uh, not really. So what are you wanting to do? Leave your camera or not? I think it's a waste of time. Yeah. I'm oh. gutted. We've come all this way. Yeah. But what's the point, you know, if, <coughs> if there isn't any activity of animals, I've seen a tiny bit yeah, of that things. A right there, look. Did you see that already? Um, yeah. Well, I was just over here when you called me. I didn't see this hole as such. No, that has to be human made, surely. There's no sign of any animal as is using this as a den or a or anything no we're gonna leave it mazzy not walking all the way back here tomorrow just to get nothing so we are back at the same spot as last night the only difference being for me is i had it here and the fox pretty much walked past here so i'm thinking if i put it there uh, the fox might walk through here and I might get a better shot. There's nothing living in there. That, well, there's nothing been coming out of there last night and doesn't look like there's any activity. There does look like activity down here. Now, Neil had it up here last night. I don't know if to put him down here tonight. Or I might put him... Ugh. I think the problem Neil had is he put it here and because when something goes past it shines a bright light and the footage although it was incredible of a badger last night I think it was too close to the camera so I'm thinking I might put him over here behind this tree facing up here Oh, because things seem to come along there and above there so you go in here Neil don't worry I'll be the one picking it up in the morning because that's what I always do you can't even see it it's in the shade I think Neil's gonna do better there I'm gonna just remove a few of these because this might set it off and we'll see what happens right so a lot of uh, trail cam talk in this video um, sorry about that if you're not interested in trail cams It's just been one of them days hasn't it everything yeah. went wrong when the sound disappeared on us recording It was like filming for the day and then having to do another one all over again <laughs> If you could imagine going to work Getting home and then worker ringing you up saying you did it wrong get yourself back and do it again That's how we fe <laughs> felt this morning <laughs> So a bit of a disaster, but hey we got there. Yeah, we got there. And hopefully in the morning we'll have some lovely footage. Thank you for watching. You yep. take care. We'll catch you bright and early tomorrow with lots of love, lots of kisses and lots of hugs. See you later. We love you. <laughs> you missed. <laughs>